I think the second thing is it's really important to agree on the metrics up front and measure them. Um, and some of the metrics that we looked at, for example, are lines of code suggested, lines of code accepted, uh, lines of code deleted or refactored, code churn. That is how frequently do lines of code change. And this is a bit of negative metric, and maybe we could speak about this a bit later. And I would measure these metrics on a, at least a first print basis. Right? And, and that's sort of laying the groundwork even before you start rolling it out, even before you start giving access. And I think the process of defining these metrics should be a bit of a collaborative one where the developers feel listened to. Because you, you, don't want, you don't want developers to think that you know, they're cattle and you're throwing a tool at them, and they're expecting them to run like 5x faster. With this. That's not the intention here. I think the second thing is, again, in sort of good change management uh, practices, uh, I would run developer surveys every month. Um, both qualitative and quantitative questions, seek feedback on what is and is not working. And then based on that, sort of iterate and pivot. 